everybody, I'd like to talk to you about something that is very near and dear to my thumbs. I like, <laughs> games. I like video games a lot, actually. And I, as a self-professed gamer, have heard a lot in recently about the conversation of our video games art. And at first I thought this was not worth my time to look into, but recent events in the gaming world have caused me to consider the question more thoroughly. And now I can really say that, in my opinion at least, yes, video games are art. But to begin, what is art? Now here's where somebody was like, eyes widen, because like, this is going to take like an hour, but like, this, yeah, you could debate this for an hour, but I'm just going to use Oxford Dictionary, because it's nice and easy, and let's go with, because <clears throat> it's Oxford. Art is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form, such as painting or sculpture, producing works to be appreciated, primarily for their beauty and, and or emotional power. Okay, then going off of that, are video games art? Well, there's a certain creative skill in coding and animating and drawing and composing the music. There's certainly imagination. I mean, I don't think you can make Smash hits like Pokemon and Halo and Goat Simulator. There is a Goat Simulator. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Um, well, visual form, yeah. I'd say that there's visual form. It's pretty important. I, I've played maybe one game that, didn't, that only ran off of sound. Um, so now I come to the final piece. To be appreciated... Oh, sorry. To be appreciated by men for their beauty and emotional power. Okay. So, well, beauty is kind of subjective, isn't it? I'd say so. But let me just show you a picture that I got out of my $40 trash can of a color printer. Right? You can pass that around, swish it around your mouth, see how it pays. <laughs> Maybe that cheap player would not. But anyways, like, that's a concept art called The Sea of Storms from the upcoming video game Destiny, which will be produced by Bungie Incorporated. Like I said, it's a forty dollar printer, but you can there's like scan lines. You can really tell that I like it because it has a certain sense of maybe isolation, maybe desolation, but also a sense of wonder and intrigue. And I find it to be quite beautiful. But maybe you don't find it beautiful much, maybe it's just a picture. That's fine, like I said, it's subjective. But I can certainly attest to video games having a certain ability to invoke emotions. Some have very thought provoking, strong stories, some have very impressive visuals. Some have a really good soundtrack, and some have all of those, or only a combination of a few of them, but some of them have the ability to link the worlds that they create to the people that experience them in a way that no other media has ever been able to accomplish. That is what I'd say makes some art. Well, let's take, for example, the popular video game Minecraft. You all heard of Minecraft? Yeah? Right. It, does, it looks like it's, it was kind of drawn by like a ten-year-old, and you put blocks together to make stuff. It's not that hard. But I think that great art isn't just the perspective of the artist that made it, or their emotions. I think great art, for me at least, truly engages a human spirit. The spirit of maybe creativity, of determination, of wonder, of the ability to create. And when you are inserted into that world of Minecraft, suddenly the world becomes what you make of it. Suddenly you are the artist, and that is and that has become much easier to do than ever before. You could you could become a sculptor, you could become a photographer, a painter, a musician, but all of these things, some of them take significant time to practice, to hone your skills. Minecraft, you can do in half an hour. You can do it between classes. And you can create something that maybe isn't particularly art, but something that you have emo invested time and effort into, something that you're emotionally attached to, and I think that that ability to invoke your creativity, your wonderment, your willingness to create, your determination, all the things that comprise the human spirit, the ability to invoke that in a way that never has been done before is what truly makes Minecraft at least art. And I think that there is something to be said for more on this discussion. And if you ever want to know any more, thing more, I can give you many big list of examples. 